Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing the end of this game. Basically, what was happening in this game is I was going for a challenge trying to find the hungry gnomes, but then this was the late game, and I end up killing a bunch of people in this late game. I'm going to analyze each move that I make and sort of talk about it, analyzing my decisions, why I did this, why I did that, and it's going to be sort of how to win solo as well as how to win late game while playing aggressive. If you guys could drop a like on this video, let's go for 905 likes. That would be absolutely amazing i would really appreciate that also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new the support has been absolutely insane lately and i haven't done one of these analyzing videos in a while you know these are ones where i get the gameplay and i add a post commentary on it but i'm analyzing what i've been doing and what i was thinking in the moment that's what we're gonna be covering in today so drop a like subscribe and let's get right into it now as you guys can see 15 people left and i only have two kills this is not normal and the reason for this is because basically this was from the challenge night the other day where i was spending the whole match searching for some of the hungry gnomes to make my video if you guys don't know every week i try to cover all the hard challenges give you guys easy guides for them i made them that last week which was a couple days ago for the week eight challenges and then of course i have the um week nine ones coming up next week so right here i get hit by a trap because i basically wasn't paying attention luckily i have enough shields i have a campfire and i and i use everything to heal up to 100 100 you always want to be at the highest health you you can be possibly because healing mid fight can be kind of tough and that's why you'll see sometimes i'll use a big potion whether it's for 25 whether it's for 30 just to make sure that you're at the max health you can be sometimes the only time where you might want to hold on to something is if you're at like 90 or 80 shield and you have a big pot you might want to hold that or if you're at like 160 170 and you have a chug jug you might want to hold on to that as well but as you guys can see 11 people left with uh two kills right now and this is in a pretty small circle so if i'm looking and analyzing what i have right now i have a decent inventory but i have very low materials 100 and that's about 200 wood 150 on the brick very very low materials my weaponry is decent i have the purple famas and a lot of people always ask me you know about purple famas in my opinion Purple FAMAS is great if you're super accurate. Most of the time, I will take a blue AR over it, though. And 100% of the time, I will take the scar over the, the burst, the epic or legendary burst. That's just what I will always go with. But that's basically what I was thinking right now. So my inventory right now is decent. Double pump at this stage in the game is okay. The problem with double pump is it's, it's just so slow. So if you're running up against a good player, you, you might lose the fight because of that. If they have a heavy, if they have attack, you're probably going to lose the fight. However, if the players aren't that smart, you will win the the fight based off of your double pump so that's basically what i'm looking for right now i'm basically just looting around looking around and i'm able to find a heavy shotgun now the reason why i put the heavy after the blue pump is for the fact that i want to hit them with the blue pump and then switch to the heavy for the fact that the heavy can be uh faster to pull out than the blue pump here i see a guy and i rush him and you see i reinforce my ramps up at the top not to waste all materials because i don't have too many um and that's basically why i decided to do that and then you can see he drops down i follow him he didn't seem to be like the best player so i hit him with with the blue pump switch over to the heavy boom boom two on the heavy a mistake that will be made sometimes is you don't want to go back from the heavy to the pump and because of the shotgun nerf you see there i hit him twice one with each i hit him three times total but after i hit him twice a lot of people would switch back to the pump which can be a costly mistake because of the time to pull out it takes with the pump so that's why i decided to um, of course take out the the heavy and stick with the heavy because the heavy is sort of in the middle of the tack and the pump but now it's sort of above because of the fact that the head shot multiplier is 2.5 on the heavy while on the pump it is only two times so you'll see in this gameplay i play aggressive late game i rush each person that is a headshot right there 150 with the blue pump right there which is sort of around the max you can do because of the nerf and there you can see i swap out the purple famas for the blue ar a lot of people will, will th say that's a bad decision me personally i just feel like the fully autos when you have a lot of ammo when you're in the late game they are so useful for spraying down bases for holding down the trigger the famas you can only use it if you're really pinpoint accurate and the person isn't really moving um, but with the fully auto ones you can just absolutely spray them and that's why i choose to go with that so right now i'm really like where my inventory is at i have pretty much the best of both worlds right now good ar great shotgun setup minis in case i get hit um, a hunting rifle for the long range sniper shots and then the jump pad which is of course the most exclusive and the best one you'll have as term as far as um 
items in in that slot jump pad is most likely the best because of the fact that it's just so so strong in the late game if you have that you have an extreme advantage so here i see this guy he's building i knock him down this guy is just spam building and what i do here is i, I don't just try to build up with him i try to take it be tactical and take my approach smart right here which is something that i've been doing a lot more and it's really been helping my gameplay a lot of players i see just build blindly like this guy which can be great if you're under trouble or if you're trying to you know you're, you're panicking people are surrounding you but taking it slow there's nothing wrong with that patrolling taking it slow and taking my time there i find the hungry gnome um which is what i was looking for uh in this gameplay find a guy pull up on me easy crouch to shoot him take him out and then i want this guy's loot because i see the fact that he has an rpg and the rpg even with the latest nerfs and the nerf wasn't to the rpg directly the nerf was to the ammo you can hold and basically now you can only hold 12 explosive rounds but i feel like that rpg will be so much more useful than a hunting rifle hunting rifle is like it's great for certain situations the rpg is great for so many more situations though for the fact that hunting rifle is great for quick peeks and sniping people but the fact that that rpg is extremely awesome when you have a height advantage for killing people for taking out people's bases for just doing a bunch of different stuff here i get into a build fight with this guy and as you guys can see i'm above him here and i realize okay we're basically going to stare down but i think i have a good shotgun uh, uh layout so that's why i choose to go like that i do switch from the heavy to the pump there um which was kind of not the smartest decision it allows him to crack me but it still ends up working out for the fact that i have what like eight um minis so i was able to do that that right there i decided to take on a head-on fight because i knew my health was at the max 200 and our 100 shield 100 health and i knew the fact that i had a great shotgun combo so i basically played my percentages there right here i see another heavy and this is of course what you want it, after latest patches you want to have this you want a double heavy shotgun. It doesn't matter if they're gold. It doesn't matter if they're purple. It doesn't matter if they're freaking rainbow colored. Heavy shotguns are the go-to in this game. You want to pick them up at every single chance you will get right now in this game because of the fact that the headshot multiplier is still 250 times and shotguns strive off of the ability to get headshots and that's why I go with the double heavy. The ability to have double, double heavy right now is great. I can swap back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I get 14 total shots, seven in each, which can destroy people's builds if they trap, if they box themselves in, which can, of course, kill people, and headshots are super powerful. Right here, I hear a guy near me, so I kind of explore, and I'm like, where is this guy? I couldn't really find where this guy's at, but as soon as you hear footsteps, the first thing you should do is build. That's what I do. I get a height advantage, and then I take my time and try to analyze where this guy's at. I eventually find him. He is a, a camper hiding right there. Take him out with the RPG, and you'll notice as I shoot the RPG, I jump and move backwards, of course, because they don't want to take any splash damage from the RPG. There we go. This top 10 is basically me taking out every single player because of the fact that I'm playing aggressive in the top 10, which is a personal decision. I could have built up a base and just hidden it if I wanted to go for the win, but this is how you can play aggressive late game while also being safe because everyone wants to play aggressive, but no one wants to die, right? So, so it becomes a mixture of aggressiveness and also being safe. And the main key with that is isolating your enemies. And what that means is making sure if you watch this gameplay, all of my fights are, are that I that, the most of them are 1v1s and i'm isolating fights i shoot the rpg i switch over to the ar unfortunately there's a bunch of bloom right here and i'm not able to finish this guy off but it's no big deal i realize he is completely weak i have all the advantage in this situation I'm able to um, put a wall on my back just to make sure that this is a 1v1 no one else is going to join i take him out and boom i'm immediately getting shot at from the back and i simply spam build right away and then i isolate the next enemy and that's what you have to do man the rpg into ar takes this guy out very very quickly i build just to make sure his noob tubes don't take me out and at this point there's three people left now as you guys can see when i started this video i only had what was it one kill i'm up to nine kills now three people left which means there's two other enemies and at this point i'm on the hunt i want to get that 10 plus kill gameplay i'm feeling extremely extremely confident and you need to play to what your inventory and health shows right now my inventory is pretty much perfect the only thing i could ask for more would be a scar that, that would like everything else is really perfect materials are, i'm absolutely fine on um and as far as health 150 is i mean 200 is ideal but 150 is right below that which is awesome especially for the fact that i have eight minis i think it is so if i get hit i can just mini back up so i'm playing to my situation i realize this is my game to lose i'm in control and i'm going to play aggressive based on that if i was 75 health right now with a terrible build i would probably just build a base and wait for these other two to fight it out but i realized okay 
I have the advantage here. I'm going to try to isolate this enemy, try to get shots in when I can. And of course, I'm spam building. He hits me right here, which is no big deal because of the fact that as long as I get hit with one or two bullets, it's no big deal at all. Minis are the key late game. Pop them, pop them, and you're good to go. Now, there's still two other enemies left. So I'm trying to isolate this guy. I don't know where the second guy is at. So I'm trying to uh, beware of my surroundings as I'm doing that. This guy, of course, is up in that base. So I'm going to try to get a good good shot in right there. Boom, I'm able to take him out. Two headshots hit for 66 as well as a 33. And that's just a major key, man. Aiming and getting those headshots are super duper key. And then at this point, I find the last guy. Of course, two people left. At this point, you don't have to worry about isolating the enemy because it is an automatic 1v1. Spray him down and that's how you get the win. That is how you play aggressive within the top 10 and how you win the game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this analyzation video. If you guys could drop a like, that would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Have a great night and I'm out. Peace.